We're not doing that. <clears throat> Hello. It's been a while. I don't know how long, but it's been a while. Um, <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to keep making music in terms of the way that people may want me to make it because flat out it's it's like lost its magic for me and I've only just started to regain the magic that I once had with the uh, music creation in specific but started feeling that in, in terms of content creation as well um, <clears throat> I'm doing the YouTube yawn or the YouTube sigh but genuinely contrary to belief i'm i'm a lot happier than i was when i was making music and when i was kind of posting all those fucking stupid ass tiktoks and all that bullshit that i was doing it was very draining i understand that some people are able to do that and able to balance that and genuinely props to them because it's fucking hard um I'm not quitting the Michael motorcycle. I, I don't expect a lot of people to still support because I'm going to be more genuine with my art. I feel like I, I want to be able to post 10 minutes of just music that I want to post. You know, like, I, I guess I still have this, oh my God, two weeks fishing, camping, hiking, and adventure in Hawaii by the Outdoor Boys is going to play next. Oh, fuck. This looks exciting. I'll keep this on the background. Anyway. <laughs> um, I don't know. I really want to start using the internet for just like posting what I want to post rather than forcing myself to post stuff that'll start doing well for the, the algorithm or like... And, and it's just kind of like how I want to live, you know? Like I, I don't want to have to post 10 times per day or like whatever fucking crazy amount I was doing one at like at one time you know um damn outdoor boys man look he look kind of look kind of dingy right now he got a man beard bro are they in Malibu what the fuck he looks happy that's great he's got a fresh ass cut I'm sorry, I'm getting off topic. Um, which is something I've been kind of better at doing. Um, just being genuine to myself, especially in these videos that I haven't been posting. Because, of course, I kind of want to give myself a break from all this internet, social media bullshit. Just, f just for a little while so I can recoup and kind of figure out where I want to go with my art and creativity and shit because i don't want to be labeled as a musician dude that's like the last thing that i wanted when i started i wanted to be labeled as michael motorcycle like i wanted to be labeled as who i am like for my music and for my art and <clears throat> for whatever see that's crazy it's like those are the only things that i think about or like when it comes to me, it's just kind of like music and art. It's like, I do so much more. I mean, I, I, I don't, like, I play basketball. I fucking, I box. I, I work out. I started to work out. I, I cook a bit. <laughs> like, I can really say that I do anything because I really do a lot of stuff. I just, I guess... I've just boxed myself and, and this is no nobody's fault except my own like boxing myself into this category of musician and I mean I could say that it's like musician and damn those fried eggs look beat as hell boy that rice look good as hell oh boy shout out the outdoor boys they should shout me out I'll, I'll come if they do that um, but, dude, that shit looks fucking nasty. Okay, um, sorry, um, fucking, 
I'm gonna post all this too. I, I really want this to be like a very natural, genuine type of deal thing, especially since I'm not gonna be posting that much content and promo in terms of Michael Motorcycle and that bullshit. I may even change my name. I don't know. I, I really want to be able to be free on on the internet if that makes sense. Like I don't want to be stuck to one alias or like just stuck, dude. I, and that's why. I, I got to stop. I just don't want to promo. I don't want my stuff to do well because it's promoted. I want it to do well because people enjoy it. And I feel like it's slowly becoming more like promo based, which is like genuinely the last thing I want for, for like my shit. Like, I don't know. Fucked up an entire bag of half percent less fat Cheetos before I fucking started this video. Shit was finger looking. Um, yeah, I, I just, when I was on social media too, I, I, if you guys haven't noticed, I'm off of everything. Like, I, I genuinely deactivated everything because I, I don't, personally, I, I've never even talked about this up until now, but I have like really bad anxiety and I'm like, um, it just gets really bad to a point where I can't even stop myself from like looking at fucking inner like social media and, and, I, and like it influences me so much, which is like partially because I have a weak ass brain, but the weak brain helps me create what I <laughs> kind of like making, which is very vulnerable and, and, uh, genuine shit in terms of like art and music and in videos and whatever I may do like I think the three main categories of like creativity is art video and art video and music and I notice how like I say music lasts right there just because it's like bro (laughs) it went from almost like the biggest part of my life to less than that in such a short amount of time because of how I was being exposed to the industry and like just being involved more not completely in the industry but like more involved in the industry and I don't know maybe it's because I'm weak but I I don't want to deal with that (laughs) I really don't it wasn't it wasn't fulfilling for me to wake up every day wondering about how much how many streams I'm getting or how many like or what like man or what my analytics were looking like or like any of that shit I I don't want to worry about that stuff it's just so like to me to me I understand some people they thrive in that type of environment but I I just dude it's for me in my life I don't want to do that shit it's so tedious and and like man it's just stress inducing bro he got three kids now what the fuck outdoor boys be cranking out them boys outdoor boy be be putting in honey butt never mind (laughs) be putting honey butt on your boys anyway um fuck what was I saying but I don't know. I hope everyone's been doing good, though. I really do appreciate everyone's support up until now. I'm letting you know I understand if people don't want to support whatever this is anymore or if it's, like, just kind of too hard for people to, like, understand or whatever it is. I don't don't know. I don't know what I'm saying at this point, but... I really do appreciate people sticking around for this long. Um, don't feel inclined to stick around. I, I really do appreciate people that do that, but, like, trust me, I, I appreciate everyone. Even if you fucking hate me now for this shit, I appreciate you. I'm not going to say I don't. I appreciate the the amazing shit that we've created as a community and whatever it is, amazing jokes that we've had on, on Instagram Live and all the... All the good stuff, I guess. All the 
just all the stuff, all the all the stuff that I bring to the table and you guys are bringing to the table too, brought to the table, whatever. Um, I'm still going to be posting on my Michael motorcycle if you guys still want to keep up or whatever it is, but uh, it's, it's going to change a lot and <laughs> it'll, I don't show who the real fans are, but no, I, I hope people stick around to see the stuff that I can create when I f truly have not, no, I guess, boundaries or whatever, or no restrictions in terms of st statistical restrictions, like how many views I get or whatever it is. Like I, I would stress about like way more than what time I would post. I would stress about fucking exiting the app and it was a lot of superstitious shit which is just kind of ingrained in me i can't really stop it um i wish i could show my room i might do a room tour in like a bit um i have a lot of cool stuff planned for this channel um yeah and i'm not gonna just say that like <laughs> not deliver I, I have a lot of these kind of talks that i wanted to do and i want to give people advice and on stuff that I saw in the industry and ways that you could probably benefit from it because I mean I understand how that shit works it's just it wasn't my cup of tea like I genuinely I, I I don't have the brain capacity for that shit and it might just be my problem and I might need to like go into like maybe managing or some shit in the future but it's hard to be an artist like a true, true, true artist and not just a pawn. Um, yeah. But, I mean, I have a lot of stuff planned. Like, I mean, a big thing that I've been doing recently, and, and shout out to this one guy, Nicholas Garfola. I've been watching him for a while now. Um I just remember watching him when he had like a thousand subscribers. Now he's at like 100,000. He talks about minimalism in a, lot, in a lot of his videos. And he talks about how he was a very anxious soul before he found it. And I'm not going to lie. It may have just been the thing that solved a lot of problems for me. Um, I had so many aspects of my life um, going at once that I, I really couldn't enjoy my life like the aspects that really mattered like i'm trying to and i don't care who you are like it affects everyone in a certain degree it affects people who have normal jobs normal jobs but whatever um it affects people who like go to work for a nine to five and all they think about is their nine to five and their their girlfriend or wife or kids are right in front of them trying to show them something cool or trying to spend time with them and they can't enjoy it because of the fact that they have their mind on work or whatever it is um for me i removed a lot of the stuff from my room I, like i said i might do a a little room tour in a bit in terms of uh on my channel It'd be very like raw and shit but it's just kind of all the essentials that I need I've, no, I've been I've genuinely been happier than ever like to be in a space that I can truly like think in and not have all this stuff and the best feeling is decluttering shit and like decluttering is in throwing stuff away or, or at least stowing it away somewhere decluttering shit and then realizing like you don't even remember what you decluttered because it, it didn't mean anything to your life um, thankfully my parents have always taught me that when I was younger and they've always been there for me in terms of big chunks of my life, like taught me how to live, you know, when I was little. Um, but yeah, hopefully I don't have boogers on my nose this entire time. I'm going to upload it anyway. Um, I think that's it for now. I'll I'll wrap it up right now. Um, but I appreciate you watching. If you stuck this far, I hope you know me a little bit better. If you stuck this far, 
you'll get to know me a lot better and not just the music and you'll <laughs> understand me more as a person if you stick around and of course that's not and that's not any me saying like stick around but it's it, it's always nice to be for lack of a bit better term like understood by at least one other person in this world and i mean yeah but <laughs> okay it's getting uh it's getting a little too deep for me my brain's shutting off so we'll talk to you later bye bye